Mm-hmm. I was very angry. Yeah, I was very angry as a, as a young kind of a younger person. I was very angry. Um, yeah, again, because obviously, I mean, you know, uh, the frustrations of growing up, uh, of being from a very middle class family, and and also because being a middle class person in this country are very kind of particular. So I I suffered those frustrations. Right? I mean, you have you face indignities everywhere right i mean um because you do not have the money right so you know you cannot really have a girlfriend if you have don't have a car right you cannot really so you cannot really you know have a relationship practically speaking if you do not have a way to kind of take yourself around the city right um you cannot do it like you cannot be traveling on buses and have a relationship you know i mean it's just difficult i mean you can do it people do it uh, but it's just like the the indignity of of it right i mean is is really stares you in the face or and things like that right i mean and i think that that also made 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 you know those kinds of things that you know uh when you um if you don't have a car you know you when you go to a place they will just make you stand outside to kind of and you know make you wait until the guy who's in the house or if you're going to an institution they do verification you're standing outside like a bloody but if you're in a car you know you just glide right through uh, and people will not make you suffer those indignities um you know uh, in hospitals and and practically everywhere you feel that you are less human pre- precisely because um you are treated like dirt um so i think that a lot of anger was that and obviously you know uh, one one is also much more idealistic at the time so one also feels indignant with so many things that you feel can be done differently but they're not you have your roti kapda magan is taken care of your biggest problem is really of intimacy of being physically intimate with someone and again you are at an at an age where you physically want it that is actually the thing you want the most in the world baki to sab are abstractions right i mean job what do you want a job for precisely for this why do you want a car for precisely for this why do you want a house for why do you want like a space you know is precisely so that you can be intimate physically intimate with someone right that is really at the and and the kind of society where we live in and particularly you know when we were growing up um you know we were even more a, even more a repressed society than we are right now we are much more open now but when we were growing up i mean when we were in our you know teens and post teen you know in our 20s we were super repressed like you could not go to parks you could not uh go to, i mean the only places there were like literally specific places in the entire on the entire map of the city where you could sit with a girl and people won't stare at you right i mean those were those places were literally you could count them on your uh, on 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 your maybe one hand or two hands at best right that's it so and that is the biggest problem even now for young people in this country right i mean let's not be little this problem it's a major problem and again through controlling sexuality of young people you are able to control so many things about them and and so on and so forth um so for me this is really one of the central key questions and and again one of the central frustrations i grew up with um when i was a young person i mean i remember you know mcdonald's literally opened in front of me in on tarek road and fucking changed everything right in garage because there were like two other places you could go to before that on tarik road if you are that sort of agar aap fb area mein rehte hain aap gulshan mein rehte hain to you so going to see you was a kind of a project right so where would you go if you just wanted to meet someone who is also probably coming on a bus or a rickshaw you cannot like going to see you and again it's an awkward thing right if you do not have a car on see you it's it's a you feel very vulnerable right um exactly and again being middle class you do not have what you call back right there is no one you can call right i mean i literally had nobody i could call if i was in trouble with the police or with like random person harassing me or the uh, girl that i was with i mean i literally had nobody i could call and that was a constant thing i would constantly like literally i would fantasize while i was out in the city uh, either alone or with someone that who could i call if 
something went wrong and that is a feeling that is permanent if you are middle class in karachi that who will you call if you know something something goes wrong right and there is so much that can go wrong on a bus you can have fights and you do run into fight have fight with people right there are uncles who start touching you in an inappropriate ways there are all kinds of shit that goes on right um who can you, what can you do you feel so well that you can't go to the police um you know so that's constantly like on on your mind right and it's a it's a very real thing that's a, a very important part of being in these kind of cities there is this sense of precariousness that that accompanies your experience started writing um because i saw an advertisement on in uh in in the newspaper i was a second year student at lams um i had not written a story before that um and that <coughs> advertisement was for a short story writing contest if you win that you would be selected to attend a 5 day or a 6 day residential workshop with kamila shamsi in karachi so i sent in a story for that that was the first story i wrote it was primarily a narration of an experience of traveling in buses in karachi and um, and so yeah my story got selected um, i attended uh, this workshop and this workshop was was quite an extraordinary experience for me because for the first time i really experienced the pleasures and the intense joys of creating art um and i think that this is also a reflection on our society where most people literally go through their entire lives without actually having an intense experience or intense close experience with a work of art um or the pleasure of creating art um and i think that that uh, for me was transformative with fiction you are creating it's it's quite an extraordinary thing that you do because you are creating something that as i said is meaningful to you that matters to you first and foremost but then it is not just that right you are with that you are also trying to design it in a way which will engage other people and engage in other uh, engage other people's sympathies um and and you are trying to do it not for yourself right there is a there's a wonderful line by one of my favorite writers david foster wallace where he says uh um, the really tricky discipline to writing is to write from a part of yourself that wants to love not from a part of yourself that wants to be loved uh and i think that you know a lot of um i mean our, our everyday general performance that we do in a, in any social situation is really about being loved uh is about being admired as about uh you know is about showing off how cool we are and how clever we are and how much we know and so on and so forth the challenge for me while writing is to really break out of that and and try to write and access that part of yourself or myself where i'm asking myself okay so sure i'm writing about this character or i'm writing about this situation but what is it about this that i that i can love that i can care about right and i think that that and that is that is that is exciting and that makes it worth it so ultimately you know if you are a writer you have to find a way to support yourself and so most of the writers that you see are you know not most but 99% of the writers that you have um support themselves with with other jobs um and that's that's the reality of the situation what distracts me from writing is not that i am doing things that I don't like but actually that I like just as much as writing right so I love teaching and I love reading actually that's what is my biggest distraction from writing that I am just such a such a such a devoted and I I reader I mean I am a reader first and foremost and I love reading more than anything else um and so for me that is actually what what gets in the way of writing not uh you know other small stuff that i do um that 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 stops me right so i think one of the most uh, important people in my life um uh, when i was growing up when i was in my a levels uh was rahat kazmi um uh, was 
famously known as a TV actor and a theater artist but he's really an exceptional kind of thinker and a reader and i think that he really for the first time in my life i really met someone who showed me that how what a life of mine he was the one who actually introduced me to urdu poetry he was the one who introduced me to so many of the english classics um so many of urdu writers that that i grew to love and who had a formative influence on my own writing so when i came to lums i found uh, other mentors who were really important for me um who helped me who literally and again i had very little money as as an undergraduate so i had professors who are now my colleagues who who practically bought me books uh, who took me on book shopping trips uh, and they said okay let's buy you know go ahead and buy whatever you want to buy and i would just go completely mad unfortunately again our young people in pakistan do not get to see is this kind of deep commitment to literature this deep love for literature this deep love where you 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 feel that you are doing something that is more important than anything else in the world in the us or in the uk or in germany france you will see that books are produced with tremendous labor there is a book design department there are people who are professional book designers that's all they do they design books they design book covers there are people who design uh, who, who who are dedicated to copy editing there are, i mean we also have that infrastructure but we really do not have it with that kind of you know it's not that extensive here i mean it was here but especially particularly with urdu and with with religious text but again that's also something that our young people do not see that a book that is beautifully produced uh and the importance of that um we have a culture that does not believe in beauty that does not believe in producing beautiful things um ours is a culture which is functional ke bhai bas kaam chalao kaam chal jaye bas uh itna ho ke bas samajh aa jaye uh we are a culture that our universities are running on photocopied books nobody is investing nobody is putting in the money in producing beautiful objects uh, and that you see in our buildings as well in our public spaces as well in our cities as well there is ugliness everywhere right and that ugliness is passes off or or continues because we as a culture are obsessed with functionality right we do not think that aesthetics is important we do not think that beauty creating beauty is important and i think that as you know young people growing up in this in this particular country you actually have very little contact with beautiful things um at every level both in thought and in and in in physicality because the physical object is a reflection of your of your ideas uh and so you know one can go out and see how much physical beauty we have and you will see that there is actually very very little in our cities in our daily lives in the products we consumes in the books right in all the other objects right the refrain everywhere is ke bas it should be good enough ke bhai kaam chal jaye bas there is no attempt to do anything better than that right and that is a national attitude um and 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 hence we do not value people who are obsessed with creating beautiful things